What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. I know you guys are probably wondering, why are you posting on a Sunday? And that's because we are actually running a sweepstakes right now where you can win a 1983 Dotson and $5,000 cash. But I will let you guys know more about that later on the video. But taking a look at today's detail. And man, oh man, it really doesn't get much worse than this. This Chevy Cruze has definitely seen some better days. The inside is absolutely covered with trash, food, stains, tar, cat food, <laughs> you name it. And the amount of swirls and scratches that is on this Chevy Cruze is absolutely insane. But as you guys know here at Mad Detailing, we're gonna make this vehicle look absolutely brand new again. So make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you guys stay tuned to learn more about the sweepstakes. Moving on to cleaning the wheels and tires, I'm using my Extreme APC on the tires and fender wheels. And for the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Mad Acid, along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. Before I can move on to any type of contact wash, I need to pre-wash this paint because it has not been washed in a very long time. So for this, I'm using my Extreme APC diluted 10 to 1. You can either use a diluted APC or you can use a snow foam. It really doesn't matter as long as the paint is cool to the touch and you're not doing it in direct sunlight. But either way, after that, we are going to foam the entire vehicle down with our Mad Detailing Super Blue Soap and a foam cannon before moving on to giving this vehicle a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt.
What is going on everybody and welcome back to the first ever Mad Detailing Car Sweepstakes Giveaway. My name is Foster Mills. I am the owner here at Mad Detailing and right here we have our 1983 Datsun 280ZX that we are going to give away to one of our lucky subscribers, aka you guys. And not only are you guys going to win this 1983 Datsun, you guys are gonna win $5,000 cash and a fully paid for vacation here to Sanford, Florida, where we can do whatever you guys wanna do. And I know you guys are probably wondering, well, how do we get entered to the sweepstakes? And it is super easy. And all you have to do is purchase one of our premium car care products right here on the website. And every dollar you guys spend will give you one entry. So for instance, if you buy this $20 bottle of iron racer you will get 20 entries if you spend a thousand dollars you get a thousand entries and after that we will ship the product right to your door at the very end of the sweepstakes we're going to send all of the entries off to a third party sweepstakes company to make sure everything's legit so all you guys have to do is purchase something on the website and sit back and wait for your phone call I am beyond excited for this sweepstakes and I hope you guys are too. But moving on to cleaning this interior I need to get all this trash anything that is too big to be sucked by vacuum which is all of this stuff before I can give this carpet a nice pre-vacuum before getting it pulled out of this vehicle to make it easier to clean later on in the video. And moving on to the seat extraction, I'm using my Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by a Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor.
So moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this vehicle, I'm using my Mad Clean and a detail brush, and I'm gonna follow that up with a steamer to loosen up all this nasty tar because this was a smoker's vehicle. And then I'll use a microfiber towel to mop it all up. Also using my compressed air, AKA just an air compressor, to make sure I blow out all the tight cracks and crevices. That way when I walk away, like nasty stuff doesn't leak out and just streak up the panel. But yeah, I always recommend using compressed air. I use compressed air on every single detail and I think it is a huge necessity in the car detailing industry.
And moving on to the outside, before I can do any type of paint correction, I need to clay bar the entire car. And for this, I'm using my matte detailing clay loop in a synthetic clay bar. This paint is absolutely hammered with swirls and very deep scratches. So I'm starting off with a rotary polisher, a DeWalt, and I'm using a wool pad in Sonex Ultimate Cut. And honestly, I had someone comment, I forget what video it is, but I was using like the rotary on a fender and they were like, bro, that's the world's biggest wool pad. What are you doing? Like, bro, I don't know about you, but this is a normal size wool pad. Like, yeah, you could go with like a, a Rupes, you know, rotary with like a six inch backing plate with like a little tiny wool pad, but it's like, bro, if you're gonna use a rotary, use a rotary. And one thing that I'm not showing here that I do after every single pass is I blow out my pad with compressed air. No matter if you're using a rotary or a DA polisher, always, always, always blow out your pad and switch your pad out every few panels. I seen another YouTuber on here doing a paint correction. And the first panel he did, he started off with a extremely dirty and matted down microfiber pad and he used way too much compound, but that's really none of my business. So yeah, anytime you're doing a paint correction, make sure you guys blow out your pad because a dirty pad is no good.
And after getting all the heavy defects removed, it's time to move on to polishing this car. For this, I'm using my Rupes 21 polisher, a red polishing pad, and Sonex Perfect Finish. So if any of you are Corvette fans, you guys would have realized that the hood in the front bumper is not painted a Chevy Cruze color. It's actually painted a Corvette color and they normally use that for their, like their accents such as like their front lips, side skirts and trunk or spoilers or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it is actually their carbon flash. I'm not sure exactly who painted this or who paint matched it, but yeah, the hood in the front bumper, definitely not the right color. 